Hello, Somerville. I am Erica Jones, and I am the Director of Institutional Advancement here at Somerville Media Center. And we are here for a Somerville Neighborhood News update, and we are joining the studio with Julia Taliesin, the multimedia journalist with the Somerville Journal. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a few topics that we're going to discuss. Um, we're going to talk about transportation and city council coverage, and I know that you have some ideas to pitch out there to the community about maybe some more uh, uh, stories that you would like to be more involved in, but mm -hmm. first, who are you and what brought you here to Somerville? And we're so glad to have <laughs> you with the journal. Well, thanks, Erica. Um, so I am a small town girl, as small as you can be from growing up in New I England. I grew up in New York, yeah. so I understand. <laughs> um, I grew up on the North Shore of Boston in a small town of Marblehead, uh -huh. um, which is right near Salem, if you know about those Love Salem. witch trials. Mm. Um, but I went to college in Boston, so I, I recently graduated in May from Simmons University with Yay. a degree in journalism. Um, I was kind of undecided heading into college, but the reason why I really found journalism, love journalism, was because it really was is what let me learn about everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> almost. It was almost not really choosing like storytelling. Something. Exactly, mm -hmm. and I get to learn about all sorts of things every different week, um, and it's incredible. So I'm pretty. I'm a young. I'm I'm green, as they say. So. <laughs> Um, 23. There's a lot going on in Somerville to be involved sure in and to stay on yes. top of, so I'm sure you're busy. Yes, <laughs> and I'm learning so much, and it's why it really is an, an opportunity as much as it is a responsibility, um, this job. So I started up here in late October, and I have been running to catch up ever since. Um, but I've been really loving every minute, and um, I've been valuing the opportunity to learn more about municipal government, to just learn more about what's going on. Mm -hmm. There's so much yeah. going on in this city. Um, to meet people like you and to kind of network and connect with other, you know, institutions that are serving the city. And, um, yeah, that's that's me. I'm that's excited great. to be here. That's great. Well, like I said, obviously there's a lot going on and, and you're doing your due diligence of, of catching up because <laughs> it's hard, right? Yeah. But it's important and um, there's a lot of rooted organizations and people who I'm sure are providing mm -hmm. some some guidance and, and help to, oh, to get you up to speed and to navigate you. Um, so one of the first points that maybe we can discuss mm -hmm. is um, your work on transportation with, like, the bridge closures and obviously... Green Line extension, um, it's actually happening, and, and what's that impact look like? Mm -hmm. um, what is your feel on some of the coverage that you've been doing and, and some of the sure. um, responses from any of the community members? Sure, yeah. So what, what I've been trying to focus coverage on lately, um, and I'm very open you know, to the community hearing more about how I could improve this, um, is just about the impact you know, that these changes are going to have on the community kind of on the ground. Because right. um, these bridge closers, I think the... Um, Washington just began, it's beginning I think this weekend, the Washington Street Bridge. Um, there are gonna be bus detours and mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff, um, lane closures. Um, and as the city strives to meet its goal of you know, being more green and being more walkable, busable, bikeable, there's gonna be lane closures so they can forever you know, get rid of that lane to paint a bus lane, to right. paint more bike lanes, to put in flex posts. Right. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of coverage around traffic calming measures, you know, around the tragedy that happened on Powder House, yeah. um, what families are calling for, what they had already asked of the city versus what they're asking now and how the city is responding. Um, there's a lot going on yeah. in terms of transportation, um, but what I've really, you know, been trying to focus on is just talking, talking to the people, not just covering this at the city level as like what's happening, but what's what's going on in people's right. lives what does a bus detour look like how much longer does it take them yeah. to get to work and even it's that personal impact exactly. that i think provides a little bit more of exactly. that, that in-depth perspective exactly yeah so that's kind of where i'm at with that issue great and we um we just uh invited um, different city representatives um into our studio um to talk about the different components of city construction so we're also we're try there's a lot to cover, um, and I'm sure that'll be an ongoing um, you know form of just awareness and and, and efforts to Absolutely. keep people in the loop. Um, great. So other things, city council coverage, condo conversion ordinances, oh zoning, open space. So much, so much. <laughs> I mean, just lately this month, there have been multiple public hearings on issues across the board. Um, last month was condo conversion. This month was many issues as it relates to the zoning overhaul, so mm. open space, mid to high rise buildings, um, tons of community input. I think they're actually still going to be accepting input until April 12th, so okay. there's still a chance to comment on that. Um, but really, to come into the city, you know what I mean, in the midst of so much going on and 
constantly trying to catch up the um, condo conversion ordinance, the update to the existing ordinance, as well as the zoning overhaul have been two issues that I have been really working hard to learn more about because as everyone in the city knows, they are very complex. Yeah. Um, so I've been really grateful to the community members who have already spoken to me, to the community members who step up and testify at these public hearings. I learned so much just by attending. Um, but I think you know, one thing to keep in mind is there may actually be some votes happening tomorrow, March 21st, um, at City Hall in the Legislative Matters Committee as it relates to the zoning overhaul and the condo conversion ordinance. Um, so people should definitely keep an eye out on that. Um, they may be sending it back to the full council. Um, but yeah, so it's I've been learning a lot. Yeah, <laughs> there's yeah. a lot going on. Um, but that those you know coverage of those issues is definitely ongoing. Yeah, and I'm assuming there's stories that you've already written and those you're up yes. on the Somerville Journal's website, which sure. is somerville.wickedlocal.com. Love it. Um, and issues that you would like to learn more about, if there's ways for people in the community to reach out to you yeah. um, on certain topics, like what would you love to be more involved in if, if you had sure. all the time of the day oh, and you were right. more than just one person? Indeed. <laughs> um, well, I mean, first of all, I know that as one person, there's no way I know what's going on everywhere. So please, you know, if you would like to enlighten me, you know, I am open. There's someone at the end of that email when you send things to Somerville mm -hmm. at wickedlocal.com. It's me. <laughs> um, I will see it and I will respond. Um, but a couple issues that are really kind of, you know, meaty and I've, I've been trying to digest is, I mean, Union Square. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the negotiations with the developers, um, the construction as it relates to the Green Line extension, sure. um, just the construction as it relates to the water and sewage updates. It's there's, There's a so, lot of layers. So much going on, yes. So um, I've been connecting with community groups, with the Union Square Neighborhood Council, with other um, Union Square Main Streets, you know, mm -hmm. organizations in the area. Um, to try to learn more, but if there's something going on in your neighborhood or on your street that you think I should know about, please let me know. Um, and I think that also air quality, mm. you know I mean, as especially in the Mystic as it relates to I-93, mm -hmm. um, or just, you know, the construction that's going on, you know, what, what is it like to have all this construction near your neighborhood? Um, and then education, um, you mm -hmm. know, this is especially top of mind um, since the Powder House vote on Monday, they voted not to authorize the plan for Powder House. Um, which I think is going to bring up a lot of conversations around the innovation that we're able to do in our existing right. district. Um, what we're already doing that's amazing and what we need to do, yeah. you know, especially as it relates to equity mm -hmm. um, with black and brown students in the public school system. Um, so I'm really interested in covering those and I would like to learn more. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing up all of those uh, important <laughs> issues that we also try to monitor here. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we serve the community as well, we're very close to to figuring out how we can be a support and, and spreading awareness. Um, so wrapping it up, social media plugs, websites, mm -hmm. emails, Let's pitch go. it out there, right there. Awesome. Uh, so to reach me, you can email somerville at wickedlocal.com or you can email my personal email, which is j. T-A-L-I-E-S-I-N at wickedlocal.com. Um, to find us on social media, we're on Facebook, Somerville Journal, on Instagram at Ville Journal, and on Twitter at Ville Journal. So give us a follow, give us a like, um, and we're going to get as much news out to you as we possibly can. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining me today, and we'll have you back very soon. So Love it. thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Somerville, that's it. We'll see you soon. This is Somerville Neighborhood News with our guests from Somerville Journal, Julia Taliesin. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.